Good day guys. Welcome to the next video in the series of IGCSE math based videos. Now the previous video I taught you guys on how to expand and simplify brackets and in this video guys I'll be teaching you guys on how to expand pair of brackets. Alright guys? So let's get to it. Alright guys, so when we have a pair of brackets, what we are going to do is we will be taking the first term in the first bracket and multiplying with both of the terms in the second bracket. So the first term in the first bracket, multiplying with first term in the second bracket, first term in the first bracket and multiplying with the second term in the second bracket. Now once we're done with that, we'll do the same procedure with the second term. So we'll take 2, multiply with the first term, and 2 and multiply with the second term. Alright guys, now let's go ahead and break these brackets. Now x times x is going to give us x squared. x times 3 is going to give us plus 3x. 2 times x is going to give us plus 2x. And 2 times 3 is going to give us plus 6, right guys, plus 6. Now, once you have expanded the bracket, the next thing we're going to be looking at is we are going to be looking for like terms. Now, like terms are terms with the same variables. Now, in this equation, 3x and 2x are like terms. Therefore, we can add or subtract them, right, guys? So, the final answer will be x squared plus 5x plus 6. All right, guys, now let's go ahead to question number 2. Now for this question guys, I'll highly suggest you click pause, try and solve it by yourself and come back and complete the video. So you'll know if you've done it properly or wrongly. Okay guys. Now similar to the next question, we are going to take the first term and multiply with both of the terms in the second bracket. Right guys. So x multiplied by x will give us x squared and x multiplied by 4 is going to give us plus 4x. Now similarly, we are going to do the same with the second bracket, okay? But keep in mind that there is a negative in front of 7. So when we multiply it, we'll take the negative into consideration also. So negative 7 multiplied by x is going to give us negative 7x. And negative 7 multiplied by 4 will give us negative 28. All right, guys. Now again, we see that 4x and negative 7x are like terms. So we can add or subtract them. And the final answer would be x squared. 4x minus 7x will give us minus 3x minus 28. All right, guys. Now let's go ahead to the last question. And guys, for the future videos, if you do want me to do any specific topic, do not forget to comment below and I will look into it and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Okay, guys. Now let's get to question number three. In this question also, we'll be doing the same steps, guys. X times X and X times 8, okay? So X times X is going to give us X square. X times 8 is going to give us plus 8X. Now similarly to the previous uh, question, we have a negative here. So when you multiply, we will multiply both the terms in the second bracket with negative 8. Okay, guys? Now negative 8 times X is going to give us negative 8X. Negative 8 times 8 is going to give us negative 64. And the final answer, guys, 8x and minus 8x will give us 0, so it can be simplified. And the final answer would be x squared minus 64. All right, guys, and that is how we would expand pair of brackets. Okay, guys, now if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to hit on that like button and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future maths videos. Now, until next time, guys, have a nice day.